<laughs> we'll do it. Great. Well, my focus for today, as you guys know, Left Lane Technologies is a website design, web development, and search engine optimization company. And one of the things that I wanted to focus on today is to kind of give you the idea of the steps that we go through when we take on a new web project. In the past, I've shown designs, I've given example sites, but I want you guys to kind of get a little bit of uh, an insider view, in a sense, of kind of those steps that went from proposal, meeting a customer, all the way to the completion of the website. So I've named this Baby Steps, if you guys are a fan of What About Bob. Uh, there's a Baby Steps uh, book there, and there's a good shot of him uh, trying to sail. But one of the things that we first do, and I give an example of kind of, I'm going to take you guys through a new client that we just took on called Culver Newland. They're a school and office furniture uh, kind of distributor and supplier. And so the first thing, the first step that we go through is really meet with the customer. More importantly, not only just go through their website, but we want to understand what the purpose of their company is and get a little bit familiar with what they do. Because that's going to not that's going to help us with the web design, the search engine optimization, and really the success of their website. So this company purpose was really school furniture and school office furniture. One of the things that Dean can attest to is they really didn't know their purpose because they kept throwing executive office in there. And they're like, well, we do executive office furniture too. I'm like, which one? We've got to focus on one or the other. Uh, and so we really narrowed down to like, okay, they're really school furniture is 90% you know, of their business. Uh, then we'll go through a website analysis. So we'll take a look at their website. One of the things, and I can kind of show you this real quick so that you can get a quick uh, view of their site. So their current website is that. Oops, I'm going to show it on the screen. So the current website looks like that. So it, it was professional, it wasn't like really horrible. Sometimes we come in contact with sites where it's just like, that's gotta be changed immediately. Uh, but it really needed some more content, really needed some more design. Uh, they were focusing on a lot of this kind of newer high-end school furniture where it's called collaborative and just different ways that kids learn and things like that. So we're coming up with a whole new uh, design concept on that. So one of the things that we do besides just kind of throwing in different designs is then we kind of create a series of mock-ups. So kind of one of the first steps that we do is we're gonna now kind of with our graphic designers create different concepts you know, for the website. Let me just bring up the PowerPoint one more time, one, one second. Is that an actual language? Yeah. Uh, that's Greek. <laughs> so one of the things that we do besides kind of just the company purpose, the website analysis, is we then kind of then figure out, okay, what is the purpose of your website? Besides just the design and the layout, what do you want people to do when they get to your website? It's the same question you guys want to ask. Well, you know, a lot of people, I just want an online presence. I just want my site to look good. Well, what do you want people to do when they get there? They call you? Fill out a form? Are they looking to purchase a service or a product? Are they looking more information about the services? So there needs to be an overall purpose of the website, and that's what we try to drill down and go through and go, what's that purpose? In their case, they wanted to show the years of experience they have because they've been in business for 50 years. They wanted to kind of catalog and showcase all the furniture options that they can provide people. They wanted to highlight new furniture concepts. Of course, they really <coughs> wanted to do a lot of search engine optimization because that was lacking. They weren't coming up anywhere in the search engines. But one of the first things, and yeah, I've heard this mentioned before, is sometimes customers will throw challenges at us. And they said, well, before we pick anybody to do a website, um, we want you to do a truck route design. Like, um, okay, we don't do truck wrap designs. But it just so happens that I'm part of a B&I group of somebody who does do truck wrap designs. So they said whoever successfully uh, does a truck wrap design for us, and you guys can see some of Dean's work here, is this is kind of the side layout that he did for the truck. And then there's a back image. So as soon as we did through the mock-ups with all them, they're super impressed, they love the work that Dean did, and they gave me the thumbs up going, we like the work that you do with the truck wrap, you now get the website, you get the e-commerce, and you get everything else. And they even then start asking me, do you do IT services? <laughs> well, unfortunately, in California, so it's a little far for Rick. But you get the idea that if you take the customer through all the right steps and you communicate with them and do well with them, they want you to do all the services with them. And that's what's great about this B&I group, because maybe next they want to do doors and windows or something on the side building. Travel to California, take care of them. But just to give you an idea, we can keep networking beyond that. So after we kind of do a website analysis and get a good idea of the purpose of their website, we then put together a proposal. Now this is a very one of our large websites, and so we're offering all kinds of services to them. And so to give you guys kind of an idea um, of what that proposal, let me pull this up here real quick. 
So this is pretty long. I'm not going to take you guys through this, but this is a PDF that kind of goes through the design. We do responsive layout. We integrate a blog. We're going to integrate a whole database-driven um, structure for their catalog of, pro catalog of products. We do all the SEO services for them. We continue down and we do kind of monthly ongoing SEO, and then we do a bunch of social media, social media maintenance, and then we're also doing kind of what we call a Google pay-per-click campaign. So we put together a very detailed proposal going, here's all the things that we are suggesting that you do with your website, and we're just going to reach your goals for your website. Once we put together then the proposal, hopefully then they sign, which they did. And in this case then, what we do is we now introduce them to the team. So as soon as I get a signed proposal for them, I want to now introduce them to our team of players. So one of the things that they'll actually get from me, I'm just trying to show you guys this email message. <coughs> They'll get an email. Dear Marty and Kevin, here's our team. I put myself, I put Josh, I put my content developers, I put my uh, web graphic designer. I give them all of their contact information saying, here's our team before we get started if you have any questions. Once they get kind of the team email, then after that I send another email where I give them some very specific timelines. And so on this one, Then I give them an email basically where I lay out, here's all that we're responsible for on our timelines and doing the designs and the SEO and the content. And then I give them a whole section of their timeline. Here's what I need from you and content and design and all the different things that we have to do to put everything together. So they're constantly communicated throughout the process is our goal. So that there's never a question of kind of what's going on with their website. Once they kind of get introduced to the team and the timelines, then we start doing mock-ups. We'll be working color schemes and additional features that we're going to put within their website. So just to give you kind of a quick idea, this, uh, in this case, our designer will do a series of mock-ups. So this was our kind of first concept where we kind of did this blue, you know, kind of color scheme. I think that's going to open up Photoshop, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I don't want to do that. Uh, then this one, if you can guys kind of see them, we kind of did more of a gray. Let me actually just preview this. So this is a concept that's kind of more of a gray color scheme and kind of a photo banner and things like that. So we'll go through a series of mock-ups to kind of show them what their website can look like. Once we go through mock-ups, once we choose the final layout, then we'll actually give them all the different color schemes of what that layout will look like and all the colors that they can integrate into their website. In some cases, theirs was a kind of special feature where we actually provided different options of what their drop-down nav would look like because we're going to have a custom product drop-down menu that people can easily get to the categories and stuff like that. So, once we kind of then give them the, the mock-ups, the design, then from there we lay out the website. We do something we call CSS, cascading style sheets. We make sure that your site caters to all the browsers, Mozilla, Firefox, and Internet Explorer. And we also make sure that if we're doing a responsive design. Now we talked about just because your website fits in one of these devices doesn't mean it's a responsive layout or a mobile layout. So one of the things that we really focus on is making sure that that website is going to fit in here. It's going to dynamically change its layout and sizing. It's going to fit within other smaller you know, type mobile devices. So once we lay out the website, get everything going, that's my little happy whatever that thing. Carl, what is that? <laughs> Carl, no. I just saw the good picture. Whatever kind of creature it is. But basically the site goes live. We've got a happy, leaping customer because the site's now live and exciting. Then we provide, of course, our hosting, email services, and any continual updates that they need in the website. And one of the things that we really try to focus on is that customers within a 24 to 48 hour period can do those website updates. We don't want people hanging and going, I mean, all the comments we get, my web designer took three months to update a photo, or two weeks to change text. <coughs> we want to get right on those updates because we know that they're important. Once the site goes live, we do keyword analysis, ongoing maintenance, social media. Just to give you an idea, and I'll kind of end with this with the detail that we do. We pulled 6,560 keywords from Google to then filter out the keywords that are relevant, relevant for their business. We go through, we then filter it down, and then we put it in a category, and these are the keywords that we're going to hit on their website. So we do a lot of detail when it comes to SEO and figuring out what keywords are going to be best for your business, and more importantly, how many people are searching those keywords. Okay? So with all that said, once everything's set and done, uh, the last part is, is if we're doing any kind of pay-per-click campaign, we can manage their pay-per-click 
We have clients that spend $40,000 a month in Google pay-per-click campaigns. We have other clients that spend $500 a month. But Google, you burn your money, you're the beast, be careful of them, but you can use us to manage that campaign and make sure that you are using your money most effectively when you're doing online advertising through Google. Rob Smith, Left Link Technologies, website design. Thank you very much.